This guy is exactly who the fitness industry needs right now. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Joe, first time here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Really, really appreciate it. And today we are doing a channel review and it is Noel Dezel's channel. And hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly, but if I'm not, uh, sorry. But anyway, we are reviewing his channel and honestly, guys, it is a great channel that you should be watching because Honestly, it's kind of a slap to the face to the fitness industry as a whole right now in a really great way. It's exactly what the fitness industry needs. An industry right now where there's a ton of either lies or really misleading things or just really bad advice overall or a lot of negativity right now, Noel's channel is kind of a breath of fresh air. It really, really is. And the reason is because while he hasn't been around for very long, at all and his channel is really blown up quite a lot and you know I congratulate him on for you know for that I think that's awesome that it has and I think the reason that it has honestly is because of the information and the videos that he's making he's being truthful he's being open and honest about everything and he's giving off good advice overall okay do I agree with 100% everything that he says no, but vast majority of the stuff that he does talk about and say, I do agree with and think is really good stuff. And in not everything he talks about is specific fitness advice, like do this exercise or take the supplement. A lot of it is talking about the industry itself and how you, know, you should be conducting yourself, the type of people you should be listening to how the fitness industry really should be right now, talking about influencers and things like that. You know, a lot of stuff that a lot of people aren't really necessarily talking about right now. So if you go through his channel right now, you see most of his uh, videos are honestly very, very short. They're like a minute, minute and a half, stuff like that, which is fine because it gets to the point what he wants to talk about. You know, he'll have a video on, a uh, specific recipe he recommends, like a protein recipe or something, gets right to the point on how to do it, which is great. Uh, if he talks about, again, uh, and influencers, the way you gotta look out for them or the information you should be getting from, he gets right to the point about it. Okay, so again, in an area where, in an industry that there's a lot of wrong going on right now, he does a lot of right. And then there are a few videos where he does give straight up advice and tips. Like there's a day on how to do the proper leg day, how to program or have a good leg day at the gym, for example. Um, and that video I think is done very well. And the information he conveys in that video I think is quite good. There is a couple things that I would look out for in that video. Specifically, one thing is when he's talking about doing the leg press, the technique he shows for it, his range of motion is honestly pretty short. Uh, and he's doing the reps actually quite fast. This is uh, something that I have a different opinion. He should be doing a much greater range of motion than that and slowing the reps down. Just, you know, he talks about the importance of a mind muscle connection. In order to do that, you need to slow the reps down. You need to have a greater range of motion than what he's showing right now. Um, Mike Isratel and over at Renaissance Periodization, the way he shows the leg press, that is what I recommend for everybody. What he talks about in terms of range of motion and stuff like that, that's who you should be. Um, you know, following for that specific advice, the way you should be emulating it. Okay, so, you know, again, not to say the information that Noah is providing in that video is wrong, nothing like that, but the technique he's showing uh, should be a little bit better, honestly. And the same thing with the hip thrust that he's showing in that specific video. I think the technique on that could be done a little bit better. If you want great technique on how to do that movement, Brad Contreras is a great resource for that. But other than that, guys, you know, some few minor things in his videos. I, you know, I like what he is doing, what he's conveying, the information he's giving off, the advice, the things that he's talking about, the fact that he's open about his steroid use or his performance enhancing use, okay? All of those things, he's very clear. And like I said, it's a, it's a breath of fresh air in an industry that's very misleading or doesn't, or a lot of times isn't open about a lot of this stuff. Okay, so if you want a great finished channel to go to and look for, you know, he, his channel is a good one. You know, just like Renaissance Superiorization and Mike Rizzatel's channel is a great one for the really specific scientific information. His channel is much more short, to the point, general advice that, you know, you just wanna pick up real quick 
and that's perfectly fine too. It's an entirely different type of channel. His isn't specifically about the science necessarily behind all of it or the specific things, um, you know, and that's fine. His channel is more about just giving off general good advice that you should be listening to and what you should be learning about fitness and the fitness industry as a whole. So, you know, again, my review here is overall, it's a great, great channel. Um, you should absolutely be um, listening to him and watching his channel, watching his videos again, and it's not gonna take you long to do it because most of his, or most of his videos are very short. So it's gonna not take you long at all to get through pretty much everything that he says. So um, that is my review of his channel, guys. Highly recommend you go check it out. I think it's a great one and glad to see that is on such a high rise like it is right now, which just shows me that the fitness industry as a whole is starting to turn and people are starting to see through a lot of the manipulation, misleading and you know, and the lies and stuff like that and are getting sick of it and wanting to go towards more channels like this or towards mine or Jeffrey Mary Schoenfels or a ton of other ones. So glad to see that. All right, guys, so that is my review for today. If there's another specific channel you want me to go over, let me know down below, and I will see you next week.